The Red Lion Inn at Stockbridge, Massachusetts has become almost a compulsory site for New England tourists, particularly when the leaves are changing in the fall. Executive chef Stephen Mongian is a CIA graduate and has run the Red Lion Kitchen for over a decade. He prepares a New England favorite, lemon bread. It's begun by creaming three-fourths cup butter or margarine and two cups sugar. Now we're going to add our eggs one at a time. Each egg has to be incorporated thoroughly before the second egg goes in. There are three whole eggs and one yolk. Now that we've creamed our sugar, our eggs, and our, mar our shortening, we are now going to add all the other ingredients. This includes one and a half tablespoons baking powder, one and a half teaspoons salt, and three and a half cups flour. This lemon custard that we're adding here is pre-made ahead of time. It has to be well chilled before it does go into the batter or it will break down the sugar mixture. You may use your own favorite lemon pie filling mix, a pudding that you'd make yourself, or a package pudding. They all work equally as well. Now we want to blend the ingredients slightly. The key to doing these batter breads is you don't want to overmix them. About three tablespoons milk are added. The batter is divided between two buttered and floured loaf pans. It'll fill the pans approximately halfway. This bread does freeze very nicely. The recipe is for two loaves because you never seem to have enough. You make one loaf and as soon as you know it, you'll have some company drop by. And you'll have a nice loaf of bread ready to serve for tea. Okay, what we want to do is once we get the batter in, we want to tamp it down so we take out any air bubbles. Our pans are now ready. These will go into a 350 degree oven for approximately one hour or until a toothpick inserted in the center will come out clean. We try to put these in the center of an oven. Halfway through the cooking time, we will turn them around. You can also use a little bi-stem thermometer or probe. I prefer this because it's easier to work with and it's easier to keep clean. And these are nice and clean. We now want to brush the loaves with a little clarified butter to keep the crust nice and soft. In approximately 30 minutes, your loaves are cool enough to remove from the pan. They should be removed from the pan and cooled for another hour before you try to slice them. Okay, now this bread generally, it can be served two ways if you'd like to slice it and just serve nice slices. I would recommend taking the crust off. Then we make nice slices using long strokes of your knife. This bread is wonderful as it is, or also with a slightly flavored honey butter or plain soft butter. Also, if you are serving this for a tea, it's nice to cut the bread in half so your bread doesn't crumble. Turn it on its side and you can make nice tea size, such as so.